Welcome. My name is Robin Chodak and I am your coach. And I want to ask you, how are you doing so far with your goals in 2018? Here we are, we've gone through January, February, March, and we're coming up to April. Now, some of you, I imagine, have been very successful and perhaps others of you have not. And maybe you just couldn't accomplish what you had wanted and you just said, forget it, I'm done, I'm gonna stop. Well, that's a problem and that's why, why I am here as your coach. I want to help you. Just because it didn't go as you thought doesn't mean you should give up. You need to keep trying or keep doing, I should say. And if you read my book, Moving to Excellence, I talk about successful people and what they do. They always get up and they do. And there's many times I don't feel like riding my bike or exercising, but I just do it. Even if I can't do it for my intended time, maybe I wanted to ride my bike for two hours, I don't say to myself, well, I only have 30 minutes, so I'm not gonna do it. Well, I'll do something else, okay? It's just important that you do, and you don't give up, okay? Don't give up. It's important to not give up. Now, here we are in the Lenten season, and the Passover season, the Easter season. It's, it's all coming up, and I had this thought the other day when I was talking with a friend who follows the, the practice of Lent. And if you don't know what that is, it's a Christian tradition and people often give up things for these six weeks. They deny themselves. I guess they're getting ready for cleansing, new birth. And it's interesting because people often give up things they like, such as chocolate or maybe they're giving up wine or maybe they say they're going to stop smoking. And then they do it for this period of time and they're successful at it because they know they have an end. They know that when that season is over, they don't have to keep doing that. And what usually happens is they binge. They've given up chocolate for, for these six weeks. And then after that, they binge on the chocolate or they might drink a bottle of wine or smoke a pack of cigarettes. It's self-sabotaging. Why do they do that? Why, to me, it, didn't make, it doesn't make a lot of sense that you even deny yourself to begin with. If you like chocolate, eating a piece of chocolate is not going to add a pound on your body. And denying yourself a piece of chocolate is not going to take a pound off. It's all about moderation and balance in life. And if I want to think about anything in denial, what I would want to deny myself are those negative thoughts, right? Are those thoughts that say, I can't do it, or I don't feel like it. Those are the thoughts that I want to deny. I don't want to deny things that give me pleasure, things that aren't going to, you know, cause me to, to, to that harm myself, okay? So, this is just a reminder to you that if you've not succeeded up till now, don't stay stuck in that place. Get back on your bike and start riding it, okay? If you ate too much chocolate last night, well, don't have any today or eat less of it today, okay? Because you need to take care of yourself. And I don't think you should be denying yourself things that you love. I think you should be denying yourself the negative thoughts about yourself and about who you really are. And you need to know that yes, you can succeed. You can have success. So I hope this has inspired you. Don't give up, keep watching my videos, follow me, read my book, subscribe to my channel, and I want you to have a great 2018. Thanks for watching, bye for now.